Hey everybody, Luke McElroy from TripleWideMedia.com. We get a lot of questions about this little guy right here, triple head to go. So we thought it'd be nice to uh, do a little quick video on how you set a triple head to go up. So I've got here the triple head to go, which is what you get if you purchased it from us or anybody else. We prefer the DP at edition. It's going to come with um, potentially three adapters. Again, if, if you buy it from us, otherwhere you may have to go and find those. Uh, for this example, we're going to use the DVI versions. We then have these two adapters uh, right here, which are the DisplayPort adapters. And so we'll actually go ahead and connect these two right now, if I know how to connect them. Connect them just like this. So this is going to go mini DisplayPort <clears throat> into DisplayPort so that we can actually hook that directly up to the computer. And then this other cable I have right here is just your standard USB. It's just like the USB coming out of your printer. All right, and then I've got uh, my computer or my laptop right here, and then I've got three screens. They're all just the same. Obviously, it doesn't have to be the same depending on what your end use setup is. So <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is actually hook the triple head into each of the screens. So I'm going to take these three adapters right here. They just snap in place. One, two, three. The neat thing about the digital uh, display port edition is that you could do two VGA, one DVI, or all three DVI, vice versa, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take my DVI cables now and hook those in to that triple head to go. Get my middle screen here set up. By the way, while we're waiting and talking about this, just so, so you guys know, there is a difference between dual link and single link DVI, for those of you who are experts out there. Um, this. Uh, for this example, we won't need dual link DVI, so you can get a single link DVI. Single link's a little bit cheaper. That's typically what they sell in you know, Best Buy or Radio Shack or anything like that. We're going to then set up our USB. So we just hook the USB into the USB port here on the front of the triple head. We'll go ahead and plug that into the computer. And then we're going to set up our actual signal cable. Now one of the things you'll notice is that this little red dot right here is red. That means that it is not getting any sort of signal that it likes. Okay, so I'm going to plug this guy in over here on this side of the computer. And so now I'm plugged in. Now, for most of you who do this at home, um, your computer may automatically recognize a triple wide image. And so you'll see here when you get all three screens on that uh, actually in this case it's only showing two screens. So this is a good problem to have on video so that we can actually show you how to set up all the different sizes. So if you come over here to your screen, you're going to be able to see three options. And inside these three options they're going to give us the ability to change all the settings within the triple head. The first setting is the change display settings. This will pop up a window that will allow you to change all the different elements of your triple head once you've set the EDID table on the triple head. EDID is really just a fancy phrase for the different resolutions. You then have desktop management preferences. It's not something we need to worry about for the sake of this. And then the open matrox GXM control panel. So you'll see on our right side here in our active resolutions and refresh rates that there is nothing there. On the left side, you'll see supported resolutions and refresh rates. So here, it'll be as simple as selecting number of displays, three, aspect ratio, wide, and then we will drop down this drop down menu and we will select 1280 by 720 at 60 hertz. That's important to know because that's what these displays need. I select that, I hit the right arrow, and that will put that over on the right side of my window here under the active resolutions. Let's hit apply changes. Okay, and so now the triple wide actually should be showing across all three of your displays. And the reason of that being is that now that we've got the right active resolutions, we should be able to be sending a resolution that these TVs would like to see. So we'll close out of that. And of course, you can change the active resolutions by going back into that matrix change display settings, hitting your available settings, and changing your different displays. Something to note, you want to make sure that the resolutions that are coming out of the triple head to go are something that is compatible with the displays you're using. For example, these are 1920 by 1080 displays, but they'll also support a 1280 by 720 HD resolution. They will not support a 640 by 480, so we could not send it a lower resolution or it would have just shown up black on here. So sometimes when we have those issues, make sure that the display or the projector that you're using will support the resolution that the triple head is using. And that's it. That's how you set up a triple head to go in just a few short minutes.